Hey, Will Hamilton, head coach of FuzzyYellowBalls.com, here with Dr. Mark Kovacs, and we're going to talk about where power actually comes from in the serve, and then we're going to go through a couple of Dr. Kovacs' favorite drills for quickly developing serve power. So one of the big aspects of power development is understanding this concept known as the kinetic chain. And the whole purpose of this is figuring out how to use forces from the ground up throughout our entire body and out into the tennis ball. And the goal here is to use our bigger muscles of the lower body, use the ground, and then transfer the energy that we store up through the racket and out into the surf. Okay, so if I, if, is one way to describe the kinetic chain basically when I push off against the ground, I get this energy wave traveling up through my body. Every muscle is adding energy as I go up, and then the energy travels through my arm into the racket, into the tennis ball. Exactly, and the whole purpose is we don't want energy to be wasted anywhere along that chain. Okay, and it's important to understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of players focus on the arm as the source of power, but it's more of a conduit. Energy has already been kind of transferred up through the body and should be transferred out of the arm versus the arm doing all the work. Correct, the arm doesn't create the power, it just transfers it. Okay, cool, well let's move on to some exercises that will start uh, getting our kinetic chains working. So Will, what we're gonna work on here is really a throwing motion, but doing it as a tennis serve. Okay. So if you pass me your racket, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a ball by your heel. So I'm gonna okay. place it just by your heel, about a ball distance behind. The reason being that we're trying to load this hip to make sure you drop back and down into the hip so we understand the motion that we're trying to create for the serve. Okay. So from here, you're gonna drop down, pick up the ball, keep the chest up as best as you can, All right. and then from here, Will's gonna then come through and throw, but as a tennis serve throw. Great, and as you saw there, what Will did there was he actually maintained this shoulder over shoulder position, which is what we're trying to accomplish with the tennis serve throw. A traditional throw, like a baseball pitch, you actually open up your shoulders early and you throw like this. That's not what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to serve exactly how you did, like a tennis serve would look. Okay, so that's, that's an important point, that shoulders rotating maybe horizontally like this, like a normal throwing motion. Actually not what happens, that's not what happens when we're serving. Correct. It's more shoulder over shoulder, we're kind of staying more sideways, exactly. I guess you could say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes you may hear the term cartwheel, looks kind of more like a cartwheel motion than an opening up motion. So let's try one more. Okay, and it, would it be fair to say that if you've been taught to serve like a normal throwing motion, that's actually sapping power and uh, you know not even not only sapping power maybe leading to injury it's definitely a problem because what happens when people learn to throw normally they open up early and that's not what we want to do and that typically not only may increase injury risk but it limits your ability to hit a really good kick serve as well because you have to then slice it okay gotcha okay so, so let's this, try one more we'll go we, down yeah we come back to the kinetic chain i'm focusing on my load my, my trying to keep good posture but Get down as low as you can, chest up, and now throw like you would a tennis serve, perfect. So your objective is to get the arc of the ball to go up, not necessarily to go straight forward. So now we're gonna take this progression into the next drill. So Will, what we wanna work on here is really doing the walking serve. And this is a progression based on what we just performed, but now putting the racket in your hand. Okay. So to start with, you set up like you normally would for a serve, mm -hmm. Uh, and as you come back into sort of that rocking motion or leaning back, uh -huh. what we're going to do is pick up our front leg, okay. and as we do that, we're going to twist rotate into our back hip. Okay. So very similar to what we did with the ball pickup. As if I was going to go down and get it. Exactly. Okay. So now we're going to do it with more components. So we're going to lift that leg up, uh -huh. we're going to twist rotate, okay. and then from that position, you're going to release the ball like you normally would with a serve, mm -hmm. and then hit it. But when you make contact, instead of jumping, you're just going to take a step. And okay. Make contact. Just to make sure I got my weight and my momentum going in the it, right direction. Exactly. Okay. So let's do it slow. See what happens. Like Very that. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So the objective here is really to load that back hip, make sure that we get good balance and good stability, and then also when you do this, sometimes the toss may get to your right mm -hmm. just because you're twisting more than you used to. So make sure we keep that toss out towards the net post so you can keep good alignment. Yeah, when you guys practice this, that might be the first, your, your toss might be a little all over the place uh, when you start. So just recommend kind of slowing it down, just okay. being very deliberate and uh, getting all the pieces working. 
good. And the target doesn't matter, I'm assuming? Right now, you're no. Just... The target is ideally, over time, you're going to work on putting it in the box, but the goal right now is to really generate the pace from that hip, getting comfortable with loading the hip, and that's really a challenge for many people. Do you think it's, it's safer to say, as opposed to, like, uh, from the back angle, you obviously saw that was pretty far out, but is the focus now really the sensation of loading the hip exactly. and everything because uh, like you talked about in terms of the kinetic chain, this is the, the power source, the nuclear power source of the serve is the lower body, right? 100% and specifically the back leg is where a lot of it comes from. Hey guys, hope you liked that free video. And if you want to add 10 to 15 miles an hour to your serve the very next time you play, click the link that just appeared on this video and Dr. Kovacs is going to fix your number one power killer. So power killers are where we lose energy, and these energy leaks occur when we have breaks in the kinetic chain. So these are what I call power killers. And the really cool thing is when you click the link, it's going to take you to Dr. Kovacs' power killer analysis tool. So you answer a couple questions about your serve, you enter in your email, and you'll get a personalized video from Dr. Kovacs and I that will identify and eliminate your number one power killer. You're going to add 10 to 15 miles an hour to your serve, basically like that. Oh, and by the way, if you're on a mobile device, just scroll down into the description. The link to the analyzer tool is there. So that's where you'll find it. And look forward to seeing you guys on the other side.